What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to Pokemon Showdown Live episode number 82 and happy Friday to everybody out there in the Friday verse. Um, but today we're going to be going on, going ahead and uh, recording some more UU um, and hopefully continuing to get wins. I'm actually really enjoying this team. Um, I'll probably ladder with it and RMT it maybe. I don't know, it's pretty standard hyper offense, but... Um, I saw Leo use it in one of his previous videos, which is pretty cool. Leo's a great guy, by the way. I uh, almost show off. He's someone who really, really does carry, or not carry, care about uh, the content that he is putting out. Um, so if you guys would like to check him out, um, link should be in the description below. We'll see. Anyway, this guy is also using hyper offense, I think. Um, so batter, battle of the fortresses, I think so. Um, help, I'm drunk. <laughs> Join awesome um it's honestly kind of hard for mega obama snow to do a lot of work this battle like sure if i limit him or if i bring it down to like rotom crobat and high dragon i can win um but that may not necessarily be an option uh, he just goes for the dark Bolt. don't flinch me nice okay so do i get another spike up or do i go kaboom i think i get another spike up because Hey, <laughs> um, I should at speed. Am I not running Jolly? I'm running Adamant. It's disappointing. Um, I'm gonna go into Dewblade right here because I can actually put in a little bit of work with Dewblade if I predict to switch out in a High Dragon. Um, so he ends up just going for rocks of his own. He looks to be cussed out, so I'm gonna SD. Um, because plus four Shadow Claw will knock you out. It won't let you get um. Well, it, he's going to get all of his hazards either way. Um, but Crit Shadow Claw clearly mattered. He goes out in a High Dragon. Um, oh. This may have been relatively short-sighted. Um, I'm going to click Sneak right here. And the reason I'm going to do so is because that did a lot of damage, especially on a Crit. He's going to kill me, which is a little bit unfortunate. That may have been nice for Luke. We'll see, though. Um, what can I do here? I'm going to go out in a Lisk. Wow, that was poorly played on my part. Um, I should have just kaboom versus Fortress. Or just went for another spike. I don't know. Poor play. I'm going to go for the Hyper Voice right here, though, because it will knock him out. Um, and Heliolisk actually does put a fair amount of offensive pressure on his team. Um, although, considering he's winning the Hazard War right now, I wouldn't doubt if he ends up pulling out this game. Um, even though he'll be in close... Okay, cool. Speaking of which, he'll be in close, um, or he'll be in relatively close range of E-Speed. Yeah, he'll be in relatively close range of E-Speed. So, um, I'm going to click T-Bolt right here. And the reason I'm going to watch this play right here. So, click T-Bolt, right? Um, so, he could crunch me right here. I'm not sure if he'd kill me. I'm going to go out in Fortress, because I feel like he's going to Mega, because he has an opportunity to clean my team right here. See what I'm saying? He went for crunch. He, uh, help. Um, I didn't think he would do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go into Entei right here. And he has to be like minus defense for me to kill him. That's disappointing. Uh... Actually, you know what I can do? This may not be an issue. Because I can go out into Obama Snow. Right? You see what I'm saying? I can Mega Evolve. And I can click Ice Shard. This may be the first loss we take this week. He dies, which is great. Um, this thing can switch in one more time. <laughs> Goes into this. This is bad. This is all sorts of bad. Um, let's see. What gives me the best chance to win? I think it's honestly just going for EQ right here. Because he can go for the close combat. That's fine. Because I just go into Man Chow and click high jump kick as many times as I can. Hopefully try to pull through with that. Um, theoretically, I could have saved the bombus note for like my road and those switch in, um, but I feel like keeping Heliolus gives me the best chance to win the game. Jesus, I lost. It's fine. Like you can't win them all. I, I had a I had a good run, um, going like four zero this week before this game. So she goes into Rotomo right here, which is fine. I'm clicking Hyper Voice. I'm he's about to be Specs, and I'm gonna crit him. Uh, no, he's Scarf. He's just going to knock me off the Volt Switch. Or T-Bolt. Either one works. So, very good game. Very fast-paced. What I like to see. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and grab another one. And, uh, am I going to pause it until we get one? 
I may very well pause it until we get one. Actually, no, I probably won't, because we already got one. Look at that. Um, that's annoying. Jeez. So he's either regular shark or regular aggron. Whatever. Um, he also looks to get swept by a bomb of snow, which is cool. Um, he ends up leading off with Shaman, which is fine. I'm just going to go ahead and get my rocks up as he goes out in a Gligar. Um, but you know, I can just go out into a bomb of snow right here. Um, he goes for the knockoff. Sick play. Um, because quite honestly, I can go for the EQ right here if I really want to. I'm going to go for it. So he goes out in Agron. It's almost like it's too easy sometimes. Um, cause now that that is gone, um, there's actually nothing checking my Obama Snow. I, s I actually just set up an SD on, Gli on Gliger and the game is over. The fact that he goes out into this kind of scares me. Um, what is, is he just gonna go for the crunch? Okay, he's just gonna take more damage, which is fine. But this is also my win condition. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go out on a Dewblade, because I don't see Dewblade putting in a lot of work for me long term. Goes for the Crunch, fine, because uh, I'm just going to sneak you now, and uh, what that'll do, get off a nice 24%, because then you'll take Life Orb, you'll take Hail, and at that point, it's like, this is child's play. I can just go out and Entei, click E speed, and uh, knock you out. If you do want to switch out, so be it, but like there's not a whole lot of point in him doing so. He'll probably just go out to Gliger right here, um, but if he goes on to Gligar, I think this game's over. Because from, yeah, he goes on to Gligar, takes another 12%. And it's like, normally that wouldn't be a super big deal, but it's like any damage I can get helps. He goes for the defog. He's probably EQ knockoff or his defog, or just throwing rocks somewhere. So I'm going to SD as he goes out into Florges. Um, I'm SDing again. That did nothing. And the seed bomb will kill, um, which is great. And I think the game's over, unless he's like random Sashmon. Which, you know, he could be. He goes out in immense. Uh, I'm clicking Ice Shard. Reveal Yachi. Not Yachi. So look at that. Obama Snow just like saying, come on, squad, get on my back. We're going for a ride. Even with no hazards, Obama Snow is too good for your hazards. He doesn't need your handouts. Like, Fortress came up and was like, hey, yo, Obama Snow, I got some money for you. You need some help? And Obama Snow said no. Obama Snow putting the team on his back. So quick, quick loss, quick win. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab one more and close it off for this week. I really hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this. I know that's like four or five, five straight episodes with the same team. I used to do that, though. I used to do five episodes a week of Showdown Live, 30 minutes a day. It's like, I just feel like that's overwhelming at some point, which is why this summer, like, I'll talk about this a lot later. Um, I'll do, like, an update video in May or whatever, but I don't feel like I'm going to do five Showdown Lives. I may do five Showdown Lives a week, but I don't feel like I'm going to do 30 minutes, just because that's dumb just at some extent, because, like, nobody actually watches for 30 minutes. So it's like, I'd rather give you guys 15 minutes of stuff you'll watch than 30 minutes of stuff that won't be watched. And it's not like knocking you guys in any sense. It's just like, it's more like being realistic. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and leave with Fortress. See, he's bleeding with Stoutland, which is fine. Reveal the Fire Fang. <laughs> he does. Don't burn me. When? Don't burn me. Um, I have a strong fighting type and he has one resist. I'm getting up another spike. Um... Is he misses a fire fang that's really convenient actually um because i could just go out and entei if i wanted to and i could save this except for the fact that it doesn't actually do anything to the rest of his mons so i'm just gonna go ahead and sack it um you could go into entei right here and start wall breaking that's pretty tempting i'm gonna do that because i know me and Shao wins the game but it's not worth like risking it right now as so he just goes out into snorlax and i think if i get a burn right here i can two a ko him look at that people Actually, that's close. It's close. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go go out and do blade instead. Um, as he ends up going for the EQ, good play. Um, but I'm just gonna SD because he either has to. Oh wow, I'm faster. World's slowest Snorlax. Um, I'm just gonna Iron Head right here because honestly, do blade doesn't do a whole lot. Like sure, it checks some Mons, but you know, I'm just weakening stuff for me and Shao at this point. 
Um, it's like normal spam is a cool concept, just not with five normal types. Goes ahead into Explad right here. This does have the scrappy, the scrappy boom burst. So I'm just gonna click Iron Head, which you know I'll live with it. Um, he goes for the boom burst. Are we seeing Life Orb or that's Choice? I'm, this is about to be the greatest play you guys have ever seen. I'm not gonna Mega. I'm clicking SD. I'm immune. They call me the greatest player of all time. Actually, no one calls me that, rightfully so. Um, like, I can just not Mega forever and just win. Look at that. Obama Snow. Great ability before it Mega evolves. Like, so very rarely useful. But coming in on Choice Locked x it really is amazing. So I'm gonna Mega Evolve and hit him with the Ice Shard. Pidgeot is clearly dead. I have, like, a million attack at this point. And, like, actually, I don't have a million. I have, like, 1,600 attack at this point, And even though... Like, even though Ice Shard is my Ice Stab, it's like, it's not that big of a deal. You may die. You probably won't, because you're, like, the bulkiest thing alive. Yeah, you didn't. And I just... He, you didn't go for the Fire Fang, inexplicably. But, you know, I'll, I'll live with it, because this game is over. Caps off a pretty successful week. Um, probably won't outspeed this either, but I don't think you can kill me. So I'm clicking C-Bomb. Um, I outspeed you. Wow, he just runs like zero speed on everything. Goes out an x blad right here. This will die to an Ice Shard. Um, if it did that much to Stoutland, you're going to die. So, you know, overall, Obama Snow just carried the team this week. And this is why I love this mod. I feel like it does a lot better in UU than it does in RU. Um, just because... Um, UU is inhabited by bulky water types, and Obama Snow can set up on a lot of those bulky water types, and punishes them, punishes a lot of them, and a lot of flying types hang around in UU too, like, uh, Pidgeot, Aerodactyl, and Crobat, so, you know, three pretty common mods right there, so. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy today's episode, please make sure to leave a like, as it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video, which is, um, I actually don't know what the comment question of the video is going to be for today. Um, what is your guys' favorite type of pizza? We're going to go ahead and ask that one. I don't know. It has no relevance at all to the video, but I myself am a fan of the pepperonis and sometimes sausage is cool too. But, you know, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you guys on the flip-flop.